Hello guys, this is Amish Ridger with another tutorial and this is on Vertex Mappers. So uh, this is my new rig by the way, I'm going to upload a video on it once it's done. It's a very big update, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but yeah, one of the features I'm going to be showing you right now. So uh, right, adding armor right here and uh, let me show you what we're going to do. I'm going to basically use the vertex, vertex Mappers to uh, automatically bind the legs to the armor. So select the legs and let's just bind it. Like so character command bind. And then let's just select this leg bone and then we use the correct vertex map and drag it into this spot right there. And then now it should be bound and it should be working fine. Uh, ignore that blue thing right there. <laughs> it just needs time to update but once I have a better computer it'll be a perfect update and it won't look like that. So it's just because my computer is slow. Uh, and yeah, so let me get to the tutorial. So I'm going to show you how I did this. I basically used the weight vertex mappers to map this out. So let me just quickly undo everything I did. Uh, okay, uh, so what you need to do is get the paint tool to create the vertex map. And then let's just change the settings to off, off the visible only setting. Just reduce the radius, increase the hard hardness to 100%. Steps to 1, I don't know what that is really, but and then that to 100. Um, actually, let me set it to 25 for now and show you what it does. So basically, first select the cube, and when you, ah, let's get the edit, um, edge tool. When you drag over it, it's, at, it's set at 25% as you can see in the tool settings, but it's actually going to 100% when you drag over it, like so. Um, I don't know how to change that, but I, you can just click one time to just make it 25%. But if you drag, it goes all the way to 100%, like so. So I basically just clicked one, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. So let's just make the vertex max. Let's just put it 100%. Yeah, 100%. And then grab, hold control, and click and drag to make another vertex map. And let's just erase that like so, hold control to erase and then just get the spit or oh, whatever. This is just a very basic example of what you can do with it. And then let's uh, let's bind it to the bones, then get click on the uh, weight, weight, yeah the weight and then join to one and just grab in that first vertex map we made. If we select the vertex map you can see what I've outlined or what you've outlined and then just grab in the second one now it should be working yeah what you just saw there was how easy it was to add the new armor to my rig so as I said before, I'm not going to show you anything of this rig right now, and yeah, so I'm just going to show you how it looks. So new rig depends, by the way. <laughs> um, no lag now, and no texture glitches, and right now it's not updating. I don't know why. Uh, whatever. But in the render, it'll come out perfect. The rig depends. You can see tech no texture glitches and anything anymore on the rig, and now we can see the body. Let me show the body. Less lag also on the rig. Yeah, really cool, and it's really it take no time at all. And once you um, once you add the armors and stuff, you have this option right here. When you select any goal or pole, you have the options of changing it. So yeah, and then you can change the type to gold, and then you have the tools as well. Everything is bound. Everything's good. And just took me a few seconds, or oh, maybe a minute or so. And yeah, so thanks for watching, and bye.